NATO described it today as a grinding war of attrition, the fight over eastern Ukraine, where Russian forces have launched operations in multiple areas and today said they've made incremental gains in Ukraine's Donbass. That is where Nick Schifrin is again tonight. His reporting in Ukraine is supported by the Pulitzer Center. So, Nick, what is Russia claiming today and how is NATO responding? Well, the U.S. believes that the Russian offensive here in the Donbass has begun, focused on two points here in Donetsk province and an additional point in neighboring Luhansk province. Russian forces are pushing in the town of Krimina. Now, Russia today claimed some kind of incremental progress provided absolutely no detail. But in Luhansk, we have seen Russian tactics, including this village completely wiped out in a video shared by a Ukrainian official. And you really see, Jeff, old tactics being used, artillery en masse against a single target. Now, Russia and Ukraine have used millions of rounds of artillery, and that has meant that the West has had to step up its artillery production. And today, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said that the West wasn't keeping pace enough. There is a, a big need out there uh, to provide um, Ukraine with uh, ammunition. This is now becoming a, a grinding war of attrition, and a war of attrition is a war of logistics, and, uh, and, uh, and therefore this is uh, so crucial for uh, our ability to uh, ensure that Ukraine wins, is able to retake territory. To give you some perspective, Ukraine fires the number of artillery shells every month that the U.S. produces every year. Uh, now, the U.S. is increasing its production, but it simply isn't enough, even that increased rate, to match the rate that Ukraine has been firing artillery shells. Mark Kansian of the Center for Strategic and International Studies told me earlier. An awful lot of ammunition, but that's only enough for about half of uh, Ukraine's usage. So Ukraine is going to not have as much ammunition as they would like. What it means is that the flow of ammunition will slow down and they'll have to prioritize their targets. They'll have to shoot at the most high priority targets and other targets they'll have to let go. The U.S. is trying to train Ukraine to use less artillery and use more modern tactics, Jeff, uh, and the U.S. hopes that that will pay off in the coming spring offensive. And, Nick, you've been out on the front lines. Have you seen these new tactics yet? Yeah, it's a little too early uh, because that training isn't complete. And there are hundreds of armored vehicles on their way that U.S. and European officials have said should arrive in the next few weeks ahead of that spring offensive. But we have been on the front lines with drone pilots. And this is an example uh, of Ukraine modernizing its own infantry, integrating drone pilots into that infantry, having them relay the positions of Russian vehicles in real time to their commanders who then relay it to artillery to try and fire on those Russian uh, vehicles. And, and so we'll have that story uh, focusing on drones and the air war, certainly uh, in the days ahead of the one year uh, full scale invasion last February. And of course, as this battle rages, the population of eastern Ukraine suffers. What have civilians been telling you, Nick? Yeah, Jeff, uh, they are suffering, uh, and yet at the same time, they're resilient. Uh, but I met a, a man uh, a few hours ago who had to watch his own apartment being bulldozed after it had been struck by a Russian missile in a town just a couple hours from here. The humanitarian catastrophe here is immense. The U.N. today appealed for $5.6 billion. That is one of the largest ever humanitarian appeals, both for internally displaced Ukrainians as well as refugees, and they have suffered so much since the invasion last year, and we'll certainly be covering that, Jeff, ahead of next week's invasion, as well as, as, well as Ukraine's attempts to reconstruct the country uh, and those frontline reports as well. Nick Schifrin reporting for us tonight from eastern Ukraine. Nick, thank you. Thanks, Jeff.